Close your eyes, focus on the breath. And as the Buddha says, put aside any greed and distress with reference to the world. In other words, you're going to stay with the breath on its own terms. The body that you've got sitting here on its own terms, without thinking about how it fits into the world outside or how it gets you involved in the world outside. Because we have to remember the world outside is a very imperfect place, but we're trying to develop perfections. It's a very uneven place, but we're trying to make our mind even. There are lots of problems in the world, but we have to realize we have only so much strength. We have goodwill for all, compassion for all, but we can't go out and help everybody. You have to ask yourself, what's the best use of your energy? What's the best use of your time? And the top priority is getting your mind in shape. Because otherwise, whatever changes you try to make in the world will not necessarily be good changes. They come out of a mind that's distorted or that's blurry, or as in the Buddhist terms, leans in certain directions. And you have a mind that's sitting up straight and sees things clearly before you can decide what really needs to be done and what's not just a mood. So first priority, get your mind in shape. And as for other th issues in the world, you have to learn how to put them aside, realizing that's only so much you can do, only so much energy you have. So you want to use it well. And it's not like we have forever. In one sense, we do, and this life keeps going on even after death. But you're not sure about where you're going to go after this life, so you make the most of what you've got. Here's an opportunity. So make sure your priorities are straight. Number one is to look after the mind, make sure it becomes one, settled, clear, with a sense of well-being. And from there I can decide what else needs to be done. But as long as the mind is not in good shape, you're, whatever ways it tr tries to shape the world will be distorted in the same way that the mind is distorted. So straighten out the mind, straighten out your views. And then to whatever extent you can straighten out the world in the course of that, which doesn't detract from your training of the mind. It's perfectly fine, and it's your gift to the world. But make sure you remember that the mind always has to come first, and we can't wait for the world to be perfect before we work on our own perfections. The goodness in the world has to start from goodness that you give rise to in the mind. So it's going to happen right here, so keep your attention right here. And do your best to straighten out whatever thoughts come in. The ones that don't need to be thought about, you just let them go. The ones that need to be adjusted, you adjust them. The ones that need to be maintained, like thoughts about staying with the breath, you maintain them. And that way the work that really needs to be done gets done. 